everyone, good afternoon. Welcome to the Williamson County Fair and the Loveless Cafe Biscuit Making Contest. We are so happy to have Loveless Cafe here with us this afternoon. And we have Mrs. Wendy Phelps and her team from Loveless that she'll introduce. And they're going to be judging, live judging here of all our contestants who've entered this afternoon. So we welcome Wendy Phelps. Thank you for being here. Hello, good afternoon, y'all. Welcome. So, um, thank you for being here um, and having fun with us here at the Biscuit Contest. I would like to introduce our judges. Uh, we have our number one judge here. Uh, this is Colton. <laughs> this is Colton Morris. <laughs> Let's hear it for Colton. Come on. <laughs> And then we have Eric B, because he has a long last name, so I call him Eric B. Number two. Woo! And then we have Shelby Keith, our one and only young lady. Yay! All right. So, um, and I'm Wendy, as you all heard. We're so glad you're here. I think we're ready to begin. We'll take our first one. So I do, while we're kind of getting things going here, I have a question. Who has been to the Loveless Cafe? Ooh, very good. Yay! <laughs> and who, who can't wait to come again? Me. <laughs> it's really good, y'all. I eat lots of biscuits, as you can tell, because they're so delicious. Um, so I do have a few questions. Well, y'all can bring them up. Sure. All right. So this is the first one. The name of it is, it's a biscuit brownie, and we're being shown the presentation. Really pretty. Looks yummy as well. Then we're going to each, each judge will get some of it so they can taste it and contemplate and judge it. And while they're doing that, I'll ask them some questions and get some opinions. So while we're waiting on that, how many know how many biscuits on average we make every day? I guess. How many? Uh, 1,000? No. Uh, you're getting closer? Yeah. Woo! Woo! Very good. 10,000, 10, y'all. 10,000 on average. Obviously, it could be up a little or down a little, but that's how many we roll a day. That's a lot of biscuits and a lot of butter and a lot of flour. Okay. Let's see. Wow, that looks good. So, let's see. Tell me, does anybody have any thoughts so far? Shelby, did you take a bite? What is your first thought on this? It looks kind of delicious to me. It is. It's a biscuit brownie, and you can really taste the, um, the brownie in it. It's really good. It's made with Ghirardelli um, brownies, I believe. Ooh, you think it has Ghirardelli in it? Mmm. All right. Oh, that's what this bit, that's what the recipe says. I see, I see, gotcha. Very good. Uh, Eric, do you have, oh, your mouth is full. Littler bites, maybe. I'm very impressed with, I'm very impressed with uh, the marbling, the difference in the chocolate and the biscuit that blends in well together. Okay. Yeah, that's a really good point. It's very attractive, very, very pretty. Colton, do you have a thought on these? Yeah. Very good and also impressive is you have to make the brownie, the biscuit, and then mix it all together. It's very, very well done. Oh, very well done, I hear. Tastes good, looks good, Ghirardelli chocolate. It sounds like Shelby might be a like Ghirardelli for some. I think years ago she may have worked for Ghirardelli. I think that's true. Um, all right, so y'all can go ahead and do your little judging. And while you're doing that, I thought I'd ask, well, I'll tell you a little bit about the Loveless. Uh, how many know that we have love for locals? Most of us, I would think, are locals. We live around here. So what love for locals is, you come in to the, um, our retail stores. 
you can get 10% off of your total, um, what you purchase, your total purchase. So that's, that's a fun fact. I have here, this is, come here, come up here. This is Dana. Dana's our new, our marketing manager. She's new, not really new, she's February-ish. But anyway, this is Dana. Woo! <laughs> so we would love for y'all locals to come see us. Now I will say, just a reminder, so I didn't make anything confusing. The love for locals is not for the cafe itself. It's for the retail stores, okay? But after you have your biscuits, in the cafe, you might want to get some biscuit mix or our lovely preserves. Yes? Yes, thank you, that's a good point. You have to show your local license. That's how we know you're from Tennessee. Very good question, thank you. All right, so it looks like we've done number one. Are you guys doing okay? Good, good, okay. Looks like they're smiling, so it must have been delicious. Okay, number two, so the name of this one is Apple Butter Biscuit. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Who likes apple butter? I know I do. I will tell you something too. We sell some of the best apple butter at the Loveless Cafe in our retail stores, or you can ask to have some on your biscuit when you um, come in the restaurant. So apple butter, and also, ooh, I want some apple butter. All righty. There's something, um, also, some real exciting news that I have to share with y'all. If you haven't heard, we have something really fun and exciting that we, it just arrived about a month ago. We have a food truck now. Yeah, so it is, uh, it's housed at the Loveless. Um, our events team is the team that coordinates it. So if you're interested, something like that, you would go to events.com uh, and they will be happy to help you with that. It will also be at some different festivals throughout the year. It was at a festival yesterday, as a matter of fact. So that's another fun thing I, love, I like to share with y'all. Okay, let's see, let's talk about this recipe. So this is an apple butter biscuit. Colton, did you take a bite yet? Okay, sorry. I didn't see you chewing, so. Mmm, Eric? Apple butter is, uh, it's robust. It's, uh, it's got a very strong flavor. It's delicious. It, look, it looks like it might be homemade apple butter. You think, yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah, I see, the recipe has Granny Smith's in it. Mmm, so it's homemade apple butter on top, wow. Okay, Colton, is your mouth still full? No, it's all gone. And <laughs> yet, yeah, again, the, yeah, the apple butter really kind of, I think brings it all together with the, the biscuit and then the, the like a little, on there. Yeah. Like a little glaze on top. Mmm, okay, Shelby, what, what's your thought before you put it in your mouth? Um, the apple butter is really great because you can, um, there are like bigger pieces of the apple that you're actually biting into, which is really nice. Um, and then the biscuit itself, I feel like it's flaky yet moist. It's like the right combination. Oh, that sounds really good. And it looks really delicious as well. I see some, a lot of people do a lot of hard work on these recipes. All right, y'all. So, also, um, something else I'll share with you. Uh, we've been here, this is I think our third, third year that we've done this biscuit contest, but you can also find um, recipes from the past on our website on lovelesscafe.com. Uh, so, and also these recipes, um, with the permission of the person that created it, um, we will put them on our website as well. So just so you're aware of that, we love to share everyone's creativity. Are you guys talking so good about these recipes? 
Are your bellies full yet? Because it looks like you got a few more over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, ooh. <laughs> Eric says, let's keep them going. All right. <laughs> oh, wow, that looks delicious. If you haven't had lunch, oh, my. Okay, so this one is called Calico Ham. Very pretty. Oh. All right. I might peek at the recipe. It's got ham and veggies, biscuit crumbs. It has butter on there two times. Two times, y'all. So, something about butter and the Loveless Cafe. Did y'all know that we butter our pan? We roll our biscuits. We put our biscuits on our buttered pan. Then we butter our biscuits. Then we bake our biscuits. Then we butter our biscuits when they come out of the oven. Then we serve them warm. Then you have an opportunity to put more butter in the middle with our lovely preserves. So we love our butter. Oh, wow. Colton, save some for me, OK? <laughs> Wow, looks delicious. Ooh, yummy. All right. All right, Colton, before you take your second bite, what's your first thought? Oops. I'll let you swallow. <laughs> it's very good. I could, I mean, I could eat that whole casserole of it. It's awesome. <laughs> it's great. Great. He said he's going to eat the whole casserole, but I think he should save me a little bit. <laughs> All right, Eric. It's fantastic. It's good. It, it looks so good. Okay. Yeah, it, it's a meal in itself. It's got so many different ingredients, uh, vegetables, your protein, your, also your biscuit. It, uh, it's very moist. It's delicious. It has a cute little biscuit on e in each individual portion. And the biscuit looks like it has ham in it. Yummy. Okay, Shelby, your turn. What's your thought? Um, it's very good. It's very similar to, I would say, maybe like a pot pie type. So it is just like a meal. It's not a side. This is your dinner. It's very good. Oh, good filling and a one-dish meal, which I don't know about y'all. When I After I get home from a long day, it's always nice to have something that I can just have one Pot meal and less dishes. <laughs> Except I don't always do the dishes. That's for somebody else in our family. All right, y'all. So, also a few other things I'd like to share with you. Um, so, you know, the holidays are coming up. Won't be long. And in November, uh, after Thanksgiving, the day after Thanksgiving, is Black Friday. That's what folks call it. But we have a special day that we celebrate that day. And we call it Family Friday at the Loveless. So our event center, the Loveless Barn, will be open that day from 10 to 2. Uh, Santa Claus will be there to visit. You can get free photos with Santa. We'll have some other things going on for the children. Um, maybe a bouncy house or a slide or a train. We've done different things over the years, so there'll be something fun for the children. So we would love for you to come and join us. Just a relaxed atmosphere. We'll have usually a movie showing, some kind of a holiday movie. But we want you to relax on that day. It's a no-stress day. So from 10 to 2 on the Friday after Thanksgiving. So we hope you will join us. All right, we are ready for the next one. Are y'all getting full? Not yet. Not, not yet. They say not yet. <laughs> All right, they're getting warmed up. All right, oh, wow. All right, so this one, y'all, is called baklava biscuit. It's very pretty. Those look like pistachio, pistachio nuts, I believe, crumbled on top. That's one of my favorite nuts. Oh, my. 
is it too, would you say it's too pretty to cut? <laughs> but that means it'll be delish. We can use your knife if you want. Yeah, here you go, there. Yeah. Oh, all right, Shelby, you're going to be the first one to get in there. Woo. It's like maybe a cream on the side, a pretty little garnish. Oh, so it looks like there's biscuit on the top and the bottom, and the baklava is sort of in the center of it. How pretty. How nice. Wow. Y'all, there are just so, so many wonderful creative, creative minds in our world. I'm just always amazed. Shelby, yeah? Yeah, it's quite interesting. I would have never thought to put baklava in a bit inside the biscuit. Um, it's really good. That goes really well together. Uh, des a dessert you might make tonight when you get home? Uh, maybe, or I'll take this with me. <laughs> All right. Have you gotten any of that, Eric? Is that your first bite? Okay. You could have given it to me. That wasn't very polite. <laughs> Supposed to share. Okay, Felton. Since Eric's being selfish, I'll ask you. <laughs> I mean, not only is the biscuit great, but that's some of the best baklava I've ever had. So. That's awesome, and I love the the cream on the side. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's also good. It's also delicious. It all just, yeah, very good. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> it's good. Okay, Eric, since you didn't share, I'll let you share the news. Yeah, so this buttercream, it's a uh, honey, uh, honey cinnamon buttercream. Uh, very light and fluffy, airy. Uh, I could eat this just by itself. Uh, and it goes very well with the baklava itself, with the with the honey and the pistachios, and it's uh, it's, and before they brought it out, now it looks like a hot mess. Uh, but when they brought it out, it's it's something that you would see in a store and stuff, a baked goods store and stuff. It's that's di that divine looking. Thank you. So I hear it's pretty and it tastes good. All right, so we have some contemplating and some about that. Well, thank you, Eric, for saving me some. <laughs> I thought he was going to lick the plate, but he was nice. I'll get a fork later. <laughs> Let's see, we are on our, that was number four. Now we're going to number five. We'll present, this next one that's coming up is called Taco Biscuit Cups. Very cute. They're little cups with a filling in it, probably like a taco filling. That's what it sounds like. They're very pretty. Another creative one. Lots of all creative. So judges, what do you think so far? Pretty impressive, huh? Give you all inspiration of what you're going to do this evening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So you see, y'all, it's a, it's a little individual cup with like a taco. Let's see if I can look at this recipe, like a little taco filling. So a biscuit on the outside, taco in the middle. Yummy. Looks like it may have been baked inside of a muffin tin or something like that. Which, you know, to me, this looks like it might be fun for some children and some adults. <laughs> A family. <laughs> Looking good, tasting good. I see some full mouths. 
<laughs> Colton? Oh, I'll let you swallow. <laughs> I'm pressuring y'all to swallow fast. <laughs> All right, hey, I'll go down here. Shelby, have you swallowed? Okay, I'll go to Shelby. <laughs> It's really great. It's exactly how you described. It's a taco inside of the um, the biscuit, and I just feel like I'm missing my margarita. <laughs> I'm missing a margarita. All right, yay! <laughs> Eric, what's your what's your thoughts? Uh, this is great. Uh, it tastes just like a taco. It's uh, the meat to biscuit ratio is actually uh, is perfect. And a lot of times with uh, cooked meats and stuff like that, you get a lot of juice and you get a soggy biscuit. Uh, there's nothing soggy about this biscuit. It's very buttery, but, uh, very flaky. It's delicious. All good points there, yeah. Okay. Ready, Colton? What's your thoughts? I mean, it totally changes Taco Tuesday, you know? You can't just show up with a tortilla anymore. You got to show up with this. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Good point. See, Taco Tuesday, here we come, biscuits. Yeah. So, Lovis Cafe has some of the best biscuits in Nashville. Uh, well, not some, the best biscuits in Nashville. And we also have a biscuit mix that we sell in our retail stores. It's almost the same as our biscuits. Not quite, you know. We have to keep some secrets, but anyway, I would say you could take this taco biscuit with make it with our homemade with our biscuit mix. Mm -hmm. Most of these recipes, I'd say. All right, y'all. Where are we? We are. Oh, we're at number six. Yeah. I think this might be our last one. Yes, okay, thank you. All right, so this one is called Aiden's Dairy Free Sweet and Sour Dough Chicken Biscuit. So it's dairy free, which is awesome for those that cannot have dairy. Oh, and it's very pretty. It's sort of a flat looking biscuit type thing. It's really nice. Mm -mm. Like I said, I keep saying this, the creativity is just awesome. Do you have the recipe? Is that, oh, is that it? Yeah. So. Is there, any, is there anything that's substituted for dairy that you can see, y'all? That's always something fun to share. I can't see. Oh, vegan butter, okay. So this is always fun for those that can't have dairy. Mm. That looks like a meal. Yeah, me. You just take a bite of that real slow. Me. Ah. Oh. Colton, it looked good. I'm hungry. Just saying. <laughs> wow. It, it not only looks good, it's very pretty. I don't know if that's red cabbage or onion. I'm not positive, but it looks really good. And then there's some green. <laughs> Colton is uh, taking photos up here, so he's he's uh, doing a really good job. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll give you time to uh, swallow, Colton. Shelby? The presentation was um, on point. Like it's something I would put on my Instagram for sure. Um, and then it's it's really delicious. I'm not qu quite sure what the um, green is. I thought it was avocado, and it may have avocado in it, but it's got a different taste. Wasabi. Well, ah, okay. Wasabi ginger avocado. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's all really very good and goes very well together as a whole. All 
Er Eric? Yeah, Shelby was saying the uh, the avocado, uh, you know, that wasabi, it's got a little bit of heat, no. but not enough to even make you sweat or anything, but just enough to tingle your tongue a little bit, especially uh, with, with the biscuit and the, and the fried chicken that, that blends well together and everything. The colors on those are absolutely fantastic. It's very pretty. Thank you, Eric. All right, Colton, since you had two big bites, what do you think? <laughs> I mean, it's delicious, um, and the fact that you made a biscuit this good, dairy-free, is impressive, um, to say the least. <laughs> and the fried chicken just is a classic pairing with biscuits, so I mean, it's awesome. Hey, well, thank you. All right. Oh, so Eric's going to not Eric, listen to me. Colton is going to take three big bites. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think Colton might like it. <laughs> Just a little. All right, so we have had six entries. Thank y'all for participating, all that you all of you that participated. We appreciate it. And now we'll give the the judges a little time to talk it over. We have first, second, third place to give out. Um, so we're honored to be here and excited to give out some lovely gifts. So does anybody have any questions about Loveless that I can answer while we're waiting? We just, we hope that you come and visit. Um, there are some coupons at the end of this table right here. Um, if you'd like anything, any of them, you're welcome to take them at both ends of the table. Well, just another reminder, we also do have an event center, the Loveless Barn, where you can have a wedding or a rehearsal or a corporate event. Um, so we have that. We'd love to have you come visit us. You know, school's getting going back, so we'll quite we'll be a little quieter um, in the next couple of weeks. So we'd love for you to come visit us. We'd love for you to come visit us anytime. Well, they are really heavy duty contemplating over here. It looks like it's going to be a hard decision. I hope you all are enjoying yourself here at the, the fair this year. It looks like there's lots of fun things to do and see. I haven't been around yet, but one of my favorite things to do is go see the animals. I just think that's kind of fun. Wow, this is serious business up here. I can't hear what they're saying. I'd love to give him some opinion, but I can't. <laughs> Y'all are having a hard time deciding, it looks like. Mm -hmm. I'm glad it's you guys, not me. Also, thank you, all you ladies, for all your help. That's really kind. And, you know, I, I think I'm saying this correctly, but everybody does this volunteer. It's not a job, so thank you all for doing what you do here at the, the fair to make it so awesome. Taking all your precious time and sharing it with others. Well, it looks like we have a first place, I see, maybe. And a second, oh, I think, I think they may have made a decision. Maybe, they're still talking. Just a ready first. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Okay. 
So I hope everybody's here. Thank you, Colton. All right, so drum roll, please. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> All right, third place goes to Apple Butter Biscuit. I don't have your name because that was a secret. It's number 50067. There it is. Shelby, would you do the honors in passing out number three, third place? Go ahead and go down there. Yeah. Thank you very much. Krista. Christina. Thank you. Christy Young. I apologize. I need to clean my ears. Christy Young. Congratulations, Christy. Oh, yo. If we get, yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Christy. Thanks for all your hard work. Congratulations. All right, Shelby, if you'll just stay there, that would be wonderful. Thank you. All right, and now second place goes to Adam's Dairy Free Sweet and Sour Dough Chicken Biscuit. And I said Adam. Did I say Adam? It's Aiden. I apologize. Excuse me. Are you Aiden? Oh, okay. All right. It's one of, oh, that's so sweet. So, and what is your name? Patrick McCormick. Congratulations, Patrick. So, Patrick's son, Aiden, um, has allergies, and so he's created this for him. How awesome is that? Congratulations, Patrick. Thank you. All right. So, first place. All right. Let's see. First place. Are we ready? First place goes to Biscuit Baklava. Or Baklava Biscuit. I said it incorrectly. Baklava, baklava Biscuit. And uh, what was your name? Hannah Bader. Congratulations, Hannah. Also, thank you to everyone who took the time to enter. I know it's not an easy task. I know it takes a long time, and you have to. You're, everything was just so creative. And I know it was really hard for the judges to come up with just three winners. So thank you very much. Thank you again for having the Loveless Cafe here. And we appreciate it. And you all have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much, Wendy. Thank you, Loveless. Would all our contestants come to the front so I can get a picture of everybody? That would be awesome. Thank you all so much. Thank you, audience. I hope everybody enjoyed.